Hello Gun Nation, Big Johnson coming at you here from from uh, Texas Gun Experience. Today I will be shooting the Staccato C2 Duo with the TLR7A. Y'all will notice now I had to take the SRO off to put on the Masterpiece Arms DS9 2011. So I do have the Hollow Sun 508T and it is the green. I don't know if you can see it. I am shooting with my sunglasses on today because this actually has my stigmatism uh, prescription in it. And I have been shooting with some clear, just, you know, safety glasses also. But I've got some stick and seize, you know, some of these little things where you can shoot them and they'll, whatever the hell they do, light up or whatever. Uh, a staccato mag a full-size mag because I've got my carry ammo this is my carry gun uh, I'm just trying to dial it in but I'll shoot about five here and five here at about seven yards so we will uh, make sure the dots good to go it is with these glasses on and I have a clear pair of astigmatism glasses prescription and it takes a little bit of the blister and it makes it more precise. So these glasses actually do work. They're just kind of too dark for indoor, but I mean, I can see fine here, but we'll send it out, see what we can do. I'm going to be running the full size mag in it, but send it out to seven yards. I don't know if you can see where it says seven yards. Maybe you can, but just look here. Yeah, that looks really precise. Yep, dot looks good. So here we go. I'm just running some Federal uh, 115 full metal jacket. So here we go. And the green is definitely different to my eye. It's not that I dislike it, I actually kind of like it. Uh, do I think it's better than the red? Honestly, I can't tell that it's better it's just a different look now on the fiber optics I do prefer the green so maybe it just takes a little while longer for me to dial into this green but I do like it so here we go tell I do need to raise the dot up it's definitely centered but it's too low so but it ran perfectly so let's take a look at it yep shooting a little bit low not bad though so all right I got three four five right here and then I've got, the hell are the rest of them? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hell, I guess I punched them right through the same freaking holes. Yeah, I had 10 in there, I think. Y'all could count them off when I shot them, but there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Maybe I put two more in each one of those. So I can't see anything else. I didn't pull them that bad. But it's definitely low. So I'm just going to go ahead and crank it up. Uh, I'll do that off camera. But, you know, just shooting for fun. So I appreciate you all watching. Remember, an unarmed nation is a very weak nation. So we all got to carry on. Hello Gun Nation, Big Johnson coming at you here from Texas Gun Experience. Going to be shooting the Staccato C2 Duo with the TLR7A on it. I uh, did have to remove the SRO and move over to the Masterpiece Arms DS9 Hybrid. So I have put on the Hollow Sun 509 or 508T and it is in the green. I don't know if you can see it. If you can, it is in the green. 
So just dialing this in um, and making sure she's all good to go. So what I'm going to do is send it out to about seven yards. Going to be going for headshots and of course in the ring. Uh, and these are those little shooting C stickers. So hopefully that'll give us a good idea of where I'm hitting. You know, just dialing everything in. But uh, send it out to about seven yards. I'm going to be using the full-sized uh, staccato mag. I've got ten rounds, so we'll do five and five. Just see how it goes. Appreciate y'all watching, but everybody asked, do I really like the Staccato C2 Duo? I get asked that all the time. I love it. The SRO was awesome because it gave me a really big uh, window of view. Now I've got the 508T on here. Little different, smaller viewing window. Better than the RMR because you don't have the dip, but not as good as the 507C because you have the hood that's rounded. This is the flat top, if you can see it. So little smaller window not bad it's not like a 507 K but uh, anyway here we go so let's do five and five at seven yards I'll just be shooting some federal 115 grain full metal jacket so let's do it Whoop. Hang on. First time that's happened, maybe I, because uh, I did just drop the slide, so maybe I didn't send it home very well, but anyway, seems to be fine now. Let's uh, run it, see what she does. Five and five at seven yards. Worked perfectly after that, so. If y'all are wondering why I'm wearing sunglasses, these are actually my Oakleys with the prescription stigmatism glasses. Um, you know, I do see a little starburst when I put these on. It actually really makes that 2MOA dot very crisp. So, and you can see that wasn't super slow, but, and I don't know if I've finalized, dialed it in, but I'm getting pretty damn close. So here we go. See how we did. All right. Seven yards. All five right here. So I can cover that up with a finger. There's one right there. So they're only like uh, one square apart, so like one inch apart, seven yards. Then here's one, two, three, four, five. So everything's in, it's in the circle, way in the circle. You know, like two fingers, cover it all. But there you go. So just, uh, you know, having a little fun, doing some different stuff. Uh, damn, those shooting seeks, they, I guess all that black shit kind of flies everywhere when you shoot it. I've got it over my hands and everywhere. But I appreciate y'all for watching. Remember, an unarmed nation is a very weak nation, so we all got to carry on.